Okay, good morning friends. Some of the students have joined. I'm waiting for other students to join. Is my voice clear and audible to all of you? Yes, good morning. Is my voice clear and audible to all of you? Okay. So, uh, we have discussed until now about uh, general epidemiology. Uh, it was also important, there were also important topics. We have last discussed about screening of the test. Now, we will be, we will be discussing uh, uh, about communicable diseases. Communicable diseases. In that, we are going to start with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. You know that uh, Corona is also communicable disease. Can you give other example of communicable diseases? Can you give other examples of communicable diseases? Inform to your colleagues that also our uh, class has been started and uh, your presence is being, attendance is being sent every time regularly. I am feeling that uh, less attendance is there now. And I will be asking uh, at one point of time to write down your roll number, not now, but to write down your roll number at, at any point of time in chat box. Give me examples of other communicable diseases. Give me examples of other communicable diseases. We are going to start with tuberculosis. That is one of the communicable disease. <clears throat> what are, which are other communicable diseases? Write down in chat box. Which are other communicable diseases? I am waiting for your reply. Which are other communicable diseases? Yes, I am getting reply from Mayur Influenza. Which are other examples? Inform your colleague that our class has been started and your attendance is being regularly sent also. Which are other communicable disease? I am waiting for your reply. Only I have got one answer that is influenza. Which are other communicable diseases? Which are other communicable disease? No, they basically, you must be knowing about this part. So, in, I am getting another reply. Hepatitis B. Okay. Flu. Now, flu is actually, a, it is a symptom. It is not disease. But uh, we can, if we call seasonal flu, then it may be considered as the disease. Uh, yes. H HIDS, not HIDS. HIDS. AIDS. Then, hepatitis. Okay. Malaria. Yes. Now, I am getting Okay, so basically in epidemiology, in uh, preventive medicine, diseases have been divided into two parts, non-communicable disease and communicable disease. So the communicable disease are the disease which spread from one person to another person. It can be through air, it can be through food, it can be through uh, blood route or it can be through respiratory route. And uh, com non-communicable disease are, what are the examples of non-communicable disease? Meanwhile, I'm getting the reply from other students, skin disease, Rabies, Ebola, Gonorrhea, yes, very nice. Typically, skin diseases are, uh, we are not including in uh, case of the communicable, but uh, some of the example, not all the skin diseases are communicable diseases. Some of the example like scabies, it can be transmitted from one person to another person, like leprosy, it can be transmitted uh, from person to person, so they are communicable diseases. But all other skin diseases, there is skin itself is a uh, special branch. So all other skin diseases are not in the typical category of communicable disease. Ebola, gonorrhea, what, which are other examples of uh, non-communicable disease? Uh, write down 
examples of non communicable disease which cannot be transmitted from one person to another person typically herpes it is example of communicable disease again non communicable disease which cannot be transmitted from one to yes diabetes hypertension i am getting reply copd asthma yes uh, many of the cancers okay very nice autoimmune disease so we are going to discuss about uh, uh, now we, are, we will be starting with the respiratory disease respiratory diseases include uh, what we uh, you have already mentioned about influenza then important diseases epidemic in uh, tuberculosis uh, since many months we are uh, hearing about uh, corona that is also one of the example of respiratory disease but uh, we have to now live with corona such as tuberculosis uh, you may be surprised to know or you will you will be already knowing that the burden of tuberculosis is more than corona and tuber every day in yeah to develop the tracker of this tuberculosis like in case of the covid tracker if we develop the tracker of the tuberculosis uh, uh, also then every day uh, 5000 new cases are added into the burden of the disease and every day about 1100 death due to tuberculosis happens in india so india is having the highest burden of the disease uh, of tuberculosis now we are going to see further about its epidemiology let me select the pointer okay so what is tuberculosis it is spread by microorganism known as mycobacterium tuberculosis so these are the category of the mycobacteria you may be knowing about other mycobacteria also these are atypic mycobacteria and mycobacteria lepre but mycobacteria tuberculosis is the major contributor of the disease that is causing tuberculosis so it is one of the oldest diseases this is the oldest disease as well as this bacteria are also uh, very old so who has discovered this is the famous scientist photograph of the famous scientist robert koch he has discovered mycobacterium tuberculosis in 1882 1882 very old uh, calculate how many years old are there write down in chat box meanwhile i am discussing further calculate this 1882 and now we are presently running in 2020 so how many years old this bacteria are so this is is very old and at that time tb is prevalent in country as we have discussed that more than 5000 cases daily occurring in india of tuberculosis disease and this is a photograph of the famous scientist robert koch in your many of the competitive exam uh, this photograph may be asked it is very common uh, photograph to be asked in your uh, as well as in your quiz competition also so try to remember the face of mr robert koch and calculate that years how many years we are uh, that is old and write down in chat box so that is microbiology of mycobacterium tuberculosis they belong to genus mycobacterium it is aerobic aerobic means which require presence of oxygen for their survival uh, non aerobic means or anaerobic means they do not require the bacteria class of bacteria which do not require presence of oxygen for their survival these are called anaerobic bacteria then this bacteria are non motile they are they do not have their own motility so they are non motile and these are rod shaped bacteria you can see in this slide this is the microscopic picture of mycobacterium tuberculosis these are rod shaped i am just drawing over here you can see this is the rod shaped microorganism uh, and uh, there are some cocci you know that staphylococci streptococci these are dot shaped like this these are dot shaped so that is the difference between cocci and this mycobacteria you can see here uh, plenty of the red colored mycobacteria and uh, that is one of the common examination in laboratory which is being done if you are working in phc after passing your bhms you will be working in phc as ius medical officer or rbsk medical officer and when you are uh, uh, having to attend the opd in that opd if you are if any of the patient comes with uh, more than 15 days cough you have to go for this examination that is the for sputum for afb afb means acid fast bacilli this mycobacterium tuberculosis are acid fast bacilli so for more than 15 days cough any any patient for more than 15 days cough you have to uh, write down investigation that is sputum for afb and 
uh, what the laboratory technician does see examine this sputum and uh, this mycobacteria can be found if mycobacteria are found then it is lab labeled as afb positive or it means patient is having tuberculosis so remember this characteristics aerobic non motile and road set bacteria so these are having uh, what is we have already discussed that acid fast bacilli these are acid fast bacilli they are strongly resistant and slow growth one of the uh, disadvantage uh, that this uh, bacteria are having the slow growth so any of the drug which is working on over that we have to give for longer duration of the time uh, the bacteria which are fast dividing they were they have the shorter course the bacteria which are having the slow growth they are having the longer course of the that meanwhile let me check that uh, i have asked the question did you write the answer yes 138 years i am getting reply from maybe many of the students 130 years 138 years tuberculosis is old and corona is only 6 month old this is no novel corona uh, previously there were corona outbreaks previously but this novel corona is only 6 month old pulmonary tuberculosis is most frequent presentation of tuberculosis so there are two types of tuberculosis one is pulmonary tuberculosis and another is extra pulmonary tuberculosis so pulmonary tuberculosis is what it is the disease of lung whenever the tuberculosis affects lung so it is pulmonary tuberculosis and uh, 85% of the tuberculosis are pulmonary extra pulmonary tuberculosis means the apart from lung apart from lung the disease happens in each and every organ of the body you know that remember the one dictum for tuberculosis tb can affect each and every organ of the body except hairs and nails again i repeat remember this sentence very well tuberculosis can affect each and every organ of the body except hairs and nails so extra pulmonary tuberculosis the, this can be affecting the bones that can be affecting brain you know, meninges the skeletal system miliary tuberculosis git kidney it can be affecting heart it can be affecting joint also so 15% of the cases remember this 15% 15 15% cases are of extra pulmonary tuberculosis but majority that is 85% cases of the tuberculosis are of pulmonary type now let me ask the question you if you have understood this concept well or not uh, if any person is having uh, tuberculosis of pleura tuberculosis of pleura in which category will you will you keep is pulmonary or extra pulmonary 50 students are online inform your other colleague that your attendance is being sent regularly i will be asking uh, to write down the roll number in chat box at any point of time so to be present for here join the session that is very interesting so i have asked the question that if uh, pleura is affected by tuberculosis pleura pleura you know that it is what pleura is what and in which category will you keep this tuberculosis of the pleura in pulmonary or extra pulmonary give me the answer If pleura is affected, in which category will you keep pulmonary or extra pulmonary? There are only two answers. One of them you have to choose if you are not knowing exactly, or if you are if you cannot think. So I am getting reply from many of the students. Pulmonary, pulmonary. Yes, I am getting reply. Pulmonary. Has anybody said extra pulmonary? You know what is pleura? Pleura is what? Write down in chat box. It is what? Pleura is what? Write down in chat box. So now number of students are increasing. Inform your colleague that our session has started and we are discussing one important disease, tuberculosis, and you are being regularly sent. Pleura is what? Write down in chat box. What is pleura? covering of the lung yes so i am getting reply from one student milan extra pulmonary you know that uh, uh, whatever the outside the lung is there outside of the lung that will be included in extra pulmonary extra pulmonary so it is outer cover of the lung some of the student has written hirali has written outer cover of the lung so 
pleura it is uh, yes the salicylous membrane around lungs it is considered as extra pulmonary tuberculosis right so we are now moving further so pulmonary and extra pulmonary it immigrants from the country where tuberculosis is more common but in in, in india it is more common it is not like corona so in people with impaired immunity yes now this point is very interesting understand this uh, tuberculosis can ha happen it can occur in people with impaired immunity nowadays you are discussing about uh, immunity you are hearing about to develop immunity against corona you have distributed some drugs also homeopathic drugs also that is claimed to be claimed to develop immunity perhaps it uh, has the more effect on suppression of the cough arsenica album but here we are discussing about the immunity in case of the tuberculosis uh, before that i would like to inform you that you know in india 40% 40% of the people are infected with tuberculosis 40 right if 100 student class is there then in 40 students there will there can be bacteria of the tuberculosis in their body but each and every person do not develop disease remember that i am i'm talking two different thing infection is different thing and development of the disease is different thing having bacteria inside our body is called infection we are infected but we do not develop <coughs> disease right so 40% of the indian people are infected always infected at, at any point of time with with mycobacterium tuberculosis but all of them do not develop disease why because of their immunity because of their nutrition their nutrition is strong their immunity is strong so that they can easily combat with the mycobacterium tuberculosis and this is do not develop so same as in case of this corona also so whose immunity is strong in them the symptoms do not develop they become asymptomatic or uh, they have only mild symptoms so immunity plays a major role in case of the infectious disease particularly here in case of the tuberculosis whose immunity is impaired it is compromised write down the immunocompromised status uh, which are the condition in which person's immunity decreases write down that in chat box while we are discussing further what are the con conditions in which person's immunity decreases cut down in chat box so why to worry about tuberculosis that most people control initial infection by mounting a cell mediated immune response so i have already told that even if there is uh, infection in 40 percent of the people but most of the people control the disease by cell mediated immunity but the residual population of viable mycobacteria always remain in their body between 5 to 10 percent of the individual who become infected subsequently develop clinical disease so primary tuberculosis develop within one to two years after initial infection that is called as incubation period so after the uh, entry of the organism development of the science and symptom that is incubation period that time interval is incubation period so primary tuberculosis develop within one to two years after initial infection particularly in children it is often associated with the disseminated disease disseminated disease disseminated means disseminated disease means that is widespread that is spread to many organ of the body that is called disseminated disease post primary tuberculosis develop later in the life and may, can be caused by reactivation of the bacteria remaining in the body from initial infection now this needs to be understood that after initial infection if any person is having initial infection some of the bacteria remains dormant in the lung now you may have heard in your pathology go on focus that can reactivate at any point of time particularly during the old age but uh, if the immunity decreases if the nutrition status uh, is compromised at that time there can be reactivation of the bacteria and uh, it can again lead to post primary tuberculosis let me check the answer of the question uh, write down the condition i yes so i have got many answer in case of the hiv hiv i have got one answer that is a diabetes in diabetes uh, not exactly immunity decreases one of the condition is hiv i have not got any other answers immunocompromised condition so in case of the old age it is also immunocompromised condition children less than five years it is also immunocompromised condition 
patient taking steroid because of the steroid immunity decreases so it is also called immunocompromised condition yes i am getting other reply leukemia aids extremes of the age hypertension diabetes typically they do not uh, uh, affect immunity directly so there we are not taking into account this hypertension and diabetes into immunocompromised status so leukemia is of course their cancer patient taking cancer chemotherapy steroid these are examples of immunocompromised conditions so in that condition there are more chances of development of tuberculosis many of the students have written example that is hiv yes there is direct relationship with the hiv and tuberculosis uh, in each and every person of the hiv always uh, test for tuberculosis is being carried out my because there are chances that in hiv most common opportunistic infection is tuberculosis so if any person has having hiv the chances are that that uh, tuberculosis may develop in that person so that, that is called as hiv tb cross infection so that is compulsory that if any person develops hiv then test for tuberculosis is being carried out and vice versa means that is if any person is having tuberculosis test for hiv is being carried out so that is compulsory post primary tuberculosis it is predominant early uh, pulmonary disease involving extensive damage to the lungs and efficient aerosol transmission of the bacteria so here same same as corona so here aerosol transmission from the person whenever the person coughs you can see that here in this picture whenever the person coughs there can be generation of the aerosol so this aerosol will lead to development of the uh, transmission that will transmit from one person to other person you are hearing from so many months that uh, keep the distance of one meter so it is same uh, true in case of the tuberculosis if any person is having tuberculosis it can transmit the bacteria up to one meter or more than uh, one meter uh, one and a half meter around two meter also so to keep the safest distance from the person if any person is having any infectious disease of the lung the risk of disease is highly dependent upon the immune status of the host we have already uh, talked about this this also we have talked co infection with the hiv there is hiv markedly increase the incidence of both form of the disease that is primary and secondary this we have already discussed so due to combination of the uh, there are some factors these are the some factors which uh, which are the cause for rise in many rise of tuberculosis in many developing and uh, uh, transitional economies countries so because of the economical decline breakdown of the health system inefficient application of the tb control measure spread of hiv aids and emergence of the multi drug resistant tuberculosis the disease may develop so economic decline particularly it is true in 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 today's scenario in presence of this covid there is economic decline we can consider that breakdown of the health system nowadays health system is more directed towards working in covid disease so we have the other programs we have also other disease not only covid in our life we have this tuberculosis also which is having the higher burden of the disease than covid and nowadays the concentration of the health system has moved towards covid so it may be possible that other a uh, disease but health health workers are trying their best to address all the things uh, doctors are trying best to address all the conditions not only covid inefficient application of the tb control measures nowadays tb control measures have been efficiently been taken out so we cannot consider this hiv aids multi drug yes this is one of the important factor drug resistant tuberculosis since last 5 years uh it is you know that isoniazid rifampicin you may have heard this name of the drug uh, these are the uh, standard treatment of the tuberculosis but uh, in many patients resistance against this drug is developed so that is called as drug resistant tuberculosis if there is resistance against two or more drug that is called as multi drug resistant tuberculosis so because of this emergence of the multi drug resistant tuberculosis does that we are now unable to control tuberculosis according to the target levels so between 2000 and 2020 it is estimated that nearly one people 1 billion people will near newly infected with the tuberculosis 1 billion and 200 million people will become sick so 2020 we are already running 
and TB will claim at least 30, at least 35 million lives because of the tuberculosis. 35 million lives may be lost um, by the year 2020 ends. So that is highest burden. I already talked about this in in infectious disease. Highest burden is tuberculosis. Highest incidence or highest is in all the infectious disease is tuberculosis. So communic communicable disease may ऐसा कह सकते हैं कि tuberculosis सब रोगों का राजा है. सब रोगों का tuberculosis vector या जो है वो सब रोगों का राजा है because it is having the highest burden of the disease. Tuberculosis control is difficult and that which is why it is still an important cause of death because these are the slow dividing bacteria, immunity, it is having the multifactorial cause. Uh, immunity plays a role, nutrition plays, plays a role. Uh, so, uh, and multi-drug resistance, and now it is multi-drug resistance, that also plays a role. So because of this condition, poverty, slower economy, because of these conditions, tuberculosis control is difficult. And currently the principal treatment strategy for those infected with the drug, uh, infected with the TB contact tracing is DOTS. So DOTS is an older therapy, uh, I mean to say older approach directly observed treatment strategy. Nowadays, it has been added by 99 DOTS. So what happens, first of all, I will explain you about DOTS, directly observed treatment strategy. Remember the name of the therapy and uh, this strategy, directly observed treatment strategy. So what happens that uh, in, in case of the tuberculosis, patient has to take drugs at least six months. So, tuberculosis therapy is for at least six months. Well, that patient may forget to take the drug or patient may not take the drug. So it is to be observed by healthcare provider. It is to be observed by doctor. It is to be observed by another person. That person should is taking drug or not. So in case of this, uh, the tuberculosis strategy has been developed that is directly observed. So uh, the packet of the, the drug which is given to the patient First packet of the drug is to be uh, taken in front of the healthcare provider, and two packets, two packets are given to the patient, which he will take at home, which he will take at home. And uh, after coming into next week, he have to return that empty packet. Only after that, patient will get the new packets that that is to be taken in front of the healthcare provider. That is older approach. That has been entered by 99 doors. That uh, patient is given. The blister pack beyond the blister in, into the blister pack when the patient opens the tablet uh, into that one number is written toll free number is to be written that now toll free number patient has to dial from its regi his register mobile uh, at the time of the uh, tuberculosis infection is det detected his mobile number is registered in the computer patient has to dial the number toll free number after taking the tablet toll free number is to be dialed so that in computer it is registered that patient has taken today's dose so that is called 99 dose why 99 because it ensures that the 99 percent there are chance that patient has taken the treatment 99 percent chance so between 1990 to 1997 we are not versus this data older data dot back both maximize cure rate so because of this dots as well as 99 dots it maximize the cure rate and minimize the health risk encouraging uh, drug resistance trends to tuberculosis so we are not going to see this also so how global tuberculosis is 33 percent of the world population is already infected in world 33 percent it is infected in india 40 percent of the population is infected already at tuberculosis 25 percent of all over double death in economically productive age group are due to tuberculosis so 25 percent of the death are because of the tuberculosis tb mortality and morbidity we are not going to see this graph so where is the problem everywhere but particularly in developing country in particular in developing country where people are immunocompromised hiv positive weak nutritionally uh, what we have discussing since morning that uh, immunocompromised status hiv infection nutrition this also plays a role in development of the tuberculosis so strategies for control depend upon many factors including level of development economy incidence prevalence of tuberculosis in each country. So according to that, strategies are being carried out. So who are most at the risk? 
malnourished malnourished so malnourished means malnutrition uh, in particular in under 5 children as well as in older child older people so malnutrition leads to development of the uh, 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 tuberculosis high number of the imprisoned person tuberculosis it has been observed that uh, it is more prevalent in um, uh, imprisoned jail mein jo qaidi hote hain unme bhi tuberculosis ka number zyada hota hai overcrowded condition because of the overcrowding what happens that chances of transmission from one person to another person increases so in case of the corona we are avoiding overcrowding we are avoiding that we should not gather in into the in, in, in class or any person so that's we are online now so to avoid overcrowding uh, tuberculosis uh, that is one of the principal in prevention of the tuberculosis also so we think that because of this social distancing because of this awareness of the overcrowding uh, the tuberculosis incidence may also drop down we will see the data at the end of this year inadequate ventilation is one of the factor which can lead to tuberculosis elderly people poverty so these are social causes poverty malnutrition this overcrowding condition these are the social causes which are there in cause as a causative factor for tuberculosis uh, in migrants in refugee traveler so in this people like as corona you can uh, this uh, correlate with the corona migrants refugee travelers the, initially when in india corona virus was not there it has been originally it was not there in india it has been brought by travelers the persons who were coming from the foreign country like china the first case was noted in kerala so it was from traveler and uh, into the migrant refugee this tuberculosis same as corona this is also present in more number so world travel is increasing annually you know that number of the flights are increasing annually um, previously if you compare the data with before 10 10 years or 20 years a uh, flight uh, flight has been increased number of the travelers who are traveling through the flight has been also increased so it can spread from one country to another country so because of the regional war economic down down opportunity so smoker second thing is smoker so in smoking smoking also leads to uh, chance of tuberculosis by two to four times so the smokers who are smoking more than 20 cigarettes a day also raise the into non smokers smokers those with comorbid condition same as corona so the persons who are having diabetes so diabetes is one of the important risk factor for the development of the tuberculosis in developing country what happens that because of the diabetes uh, blood sugar level increases and that can be that blood sugar can serve as the nutrition for the mycobacteria so diabetes is one of the important risk factor for development of the tuberculosis chronic alcoholic condition hiv aids silicosis because of the presence of silica into the lung silico tuberculosis it is considered as silico tuberculosis increasing drug resistance the children under 5 year were also at the risk of tuberculosis however the risk has been marked reduce due to introduction of the bcg vaccine so previously when bcg vaccine was not available write down the full form of the bcg vaccine if you know in chat box write down it meanwhile we are discussing bcg full form of the bcg vaccine so bcg vaccine and write down also the age if you know if it has been discussed previously write down the age at which bcg is given i will be talking to you also but uh, write down if you know in chat box so because of the bcg vaccine risk of tuberculosis in under 5 year children has decreased previously it was more so what is full form of bcg do you know what is full form of bcg an age at which bcg is given write down in chat box <coughs> at waiting for your reply what is full form of bcg when we are discussing further so tuberculosis is world's 
second common as cause of the death from the infectious disease after hiv aids if we can uh, see the data of the world it can be true but in india that is most common cause of death uh, because of the infectious disease it tuberculosis so tuberculosis is world's leading killer hmm, what i have told previously also it is leading killer among infectious disease among all infectious disease it is world's leading killer with one person dying out of it every 15 second across the globe if you hear this data you will forget corona and you will forget covid disease see that one person dying out of it every 15 second <coughs> across the globe because of the tuberculosis the leading killer while in case of the corona only 2 to 3 percent deaths are occurring because of the corona out of 100 person only 2 to 3 persons are dying more than 80 percent are having the mild infection or asymptomatic even <coughs> so there were estimated 89 million new cases of tuberculosis in 2000 fewer than half of this were reported so that is also one of the problem that uh, many of the cases are being unreported but because of the nowadays availability of the uh, software because of availability of this 99 dots nixchai etc softwares are there and now uh, reporting has been improved so let me check that whether you have written answers or not so yes i am getting answer bacillus calmatic urine very nice bcg full form of the bcg is bacillus calmatic urine so calmatic urine this is the scientist who has developed this vaccine on the name this uh, bacillus calmatic urine and it is given at the age of whether it has been written by any student or not no it is given at birth bcg is given at birth and it is Yes, childhood tuberculosis. This its protective <coughs> duration is up to 20 years. After 20 years, tuberculosis may develop. But it is good that at least uh, in childhood, in under five children, tuberculosis burden decreases. <coughs> so most cases of the uh, tuberculosis are in age group of 15 to 49 years. In in young adult, it is more prevalent. Tuberculosis is world's greatest infectious killer of women of reproductive age and leading cause of the death among people with HIV AIDS. So in HIV AIDS it may happen that because of HIV AIDS people patient may not die but because of this tuberculosis because of the drug resistant tuberculosis which develop in persons with HIV AIDS <coughs> person may die. That is about sub saharan africa we are not talking about other countries most populous countries of asia are having the largest number of the cases like india so because of the highest number of population uh, the disease burden of this infectious disease are always high in india china indonesia bangladesh and pakistan all together account for more than half of the global burden so in in uh, world you know that more than 200 countries are there but among this 1 2 countries uh, this five countries contribute to more than half of the global are there in this five country case number of decline more or less steadily in western and central europe north america middle east countries north and south america and middle east countries so in developed country case number has decreased <coughs> so by contrast there have been the striking increase in country of the sub saharan africa forget that tuberculosis rate have increased in the uh, soviet union also forget that <laughs> this are the data of uk and western europe and we are not going to see about this data so incidence of tuberculosis it varies with age it it is not that uh, it is all together same in all age so in africa tuberculosis affect adolescent and young adult in country where tuberculosis is grown from high to low incidence as america tuberculosis mainly in older people so wherever the incidence is low it affects older people wherever the incidence is high it affect young adults mostly uh, remember this adolescent and young adult so adolescent is age group from 11 to 19 year and young adult it is more than 18 year 18 to 25 30 years you can call as young adult so in india also not only in africa in india also adolescent and young adults are most commonly affected and remember that in countries like america where 
the disease has uh, disease burden has go from high to low it is affecting only in old age because in immunity is low in case of the old age only <clears throat> i'm not going to see about other africa and the country in detail so the infection rate of uh, tuberculosis hiv co infection hiv and tuberculosis co infection is around 10% so in 100 out of 100 hiv infected persons in 10 persons uh, uh, there can be chances of tuberculosis and it is responsible for 6 lakh deaths each year mainly occurring among the young and economically productive age group natural calamities man made conflicts and aids epidemic have worsened the situation in many countries resulting in large number of the displaced persons so these are the condition which also leads to increasing number of the tuberculosis when not going to see more about other countries so i'm skipping it in india so india is highest burden of the tuberculosis in the world it accounts for nearly 1/5th of the global burden we have talked previously that among uh, this five country india pakistan china uh, nepal so not nepal indonesia this all five country contribute to the 50% of the disease of the world but among this whole world india is having 1/5th of the global burden every year approximately 1.8 million persons 1.8 million person develop tuberculosis of which 0.8 million are new smear positive so every year uh, 1.8 million means 18 lakh people 18 lakh people develop tuberculosis see that for corona uh, so they concentrate on tuberculosis out of which 0.8 million means how many how many lakhs uh, convert this 0.8 million into lakh <coughs> 1 million is 10 lakh so 0.8 million that is 8 lakh 8 lakh people are new smear positive two out of every five indian are infected with tuberculosis now see this sentence two out of every five indian is infected remember again i, I remind you the difference between infection and disease so this two person both of them do not develop disease and they are only infected they are having the presence of bacteria in their lungs in their body if the immunity decreases then they can develop the disease every day 5000 people develop the disease in india 5000 people I, we have just crossed uh, this 5000 number before some days in case of the corona nowadays we are reporting more than 6000 around 6000 6500 between 6000 to 6500 corona cases every day in india but tuberculosis since many years since many years it is present that uh, every day 5000 des- uh, develop disease in uh, india 2% die out uh, of tuberculosis every 3 minutes every 3 minute 2% in, in india this is about india 1000 people die every day see this 1000 5000 new cases of the tuberculosis every day in india and 1000 people die every day because of tuberculosis in india so that in year 0.4 million 4 lakh people die every year in india because of tuberculosis so this data it will give you that corona is nothing so in india tuberculosis kills more adult in most reproductive most productive age group between 15 to 45 15 to 54 year than any other infectious disease means it is the leading killer of the among the infectious disease women in reproductive age group are also more affected and one third of the female infertility in india is caused by tuberculosis this data are also interesting one third of infertility in female in india it is caused by tuberculosis so out of total infertility cases you may be studying this infertility in your obstetric and gynecology out of this 33% infertility in female are because of tuberculosis drug resistance surveillance in several country has found that 2.4% of the new patient are mdrtb mdr is 
multi drug resistant tuberculosis 2.4% are that and increase in hiv prevalence it represents serious threat to tb control because hiv tb cause existence you know that 10% of hiv tb cross infection can occur so hiv and tb we have already discussed in 1994 of 14 million affected hiv positive 40% are tb tb is the leading cause of death in hiv positive we have already already talked about this weak immunity increase the risk of tuberculosis progress in produces greater risk of misdiagnosis of tuberculosis in hiv and subsequent inadequate treatment <clears throat> so hiv infection account for much of the recent increase in global tuberculosis because of the hiv uh, in globally tuberculosis has increased we are not going to see about this data rates of hiv infection among patients with tuberculosis is uh, below 1% in bangladesh china and indonesia increase in tuberculosis incidence in africa is strongly associated with the prevalence of the hiv infection hiv prevalence is more in africa so there is more increase in tuberculosis we are not going to see this source of tb transmission so we have talked enough about the global burden of the disease global burden as well as burden in india so i will uh, okay so write down what are the causes what are the causative factors for tuberculosis we have discussed so from so this much of discussion what are the factors which lead to development of the tuberculosis write down in chat box write down in chat box what are the factors which may lead to development of the tuberculosis we have discussed so many factors which are the factors which lead to development of tuberculosis write down the name of the positive organism also write down the factors which lead to development of the tuberculosis and meanwhile we will discuss this you will write down in chat box meanwhile we, we are proceeding forward further so source of tb information from which where we can get the tb information this is not source of tb transmission from notification rate from surveillance from mortality statistics and from surveillances so tb is one of the important notifiable disease in world india as well as in worldwide so if any patient is having tuberculosis we have to notify to the health system so there are some notifiable disease among them tb is one of the most important disease that doctor should notify to the health system health authority like in case of the rajkot if any patient hospital is they are detects tuberculosis patient and they have to notify to the rajkot so notification are important source of data for epidemiology so we are not going to the detail of this surveillance and everything so how to change mortality tb mortality by improving in as a nutrition hygiene and socio politic by decreasing hiv aids Uh, by this travel travel we cannot change much migration it it, can, it will uh, always affect socio demographic development of the drug resistant strain uh, if we use the drugs uh, judiciously then there can be less chance of development of the drug resistant strains okay let me see the answer let me check the answers Okay, so factors uh, I am getting answer that mycobacterium tuberculosis, low immunity, mycobacterium tuberculosis, impaired immunity, crowded area, malnutrition, alcoholic, alcoholic was it poor condition? Which type of poor condition? Malnourished. Okay, nice. But still, uh, you have written two or three answers. <coughs> so many factors we have discussed. so many factors of Im impaired immunity yes i am getting reply silicosis travelers poverty yes elderly increasing drug resistance so these are the factors which will lead to tuberculosis okay we will discuss for 5 minute so mdr tuberculosis multi drug resistant tuberculosis it is 
be resistant to two or many more main line of the drug it is called uh, mdl tb it is increasing worldwide this is the new problem of uh, tuberculosis mdr more than 50 million people are probably already infected with tuberculosis in west mdl tb country mdl tb is most common uh, among the ho homeless people in urban center in new york mdl tb is most common in homeless people those who are not having the home so because it, it may develop because of the poor adherence to the treatment you know that the treatment of the tuberculosis is to be taken for six months if we if any doctor asks to take the drug to us for urti for for five to seven days we are not finishing that course also no, we are not taking the drug for five to seven days so it is difficult to take the drug for six months in the case of the tuberculosis so poor adherence may lead to the multi-drug uh, resistant tuberculosis poor control and prevention program prevention program is running very well rntcp this program is rntcp revised national tuberculosis control program now it has been changed to uh, revise tuberculosis elimination program not control now elimination we have to eliminate tuberculosis by 2025 so this program name has been changed to device tuberculosis elimination program or we can call as National Tuberculosis Elimination, NTEP, National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. So for TB control and prevention, you know that main strategies are BCG vaccination. So BCG vaccination will lead to prevention of the tuberculosis in childhood. It may lead to the, uh, prevention up to 20 years. Case finding, active case finding. So by case finding, we can treat the patient. Early case finding will lead to early diagnosis and treatment. So it is in OPD, if you are having the patient with sputum uh, production and cough for more than 15 days, you have to write down sputum for AFP. It is known that for more than 15 days of the cough, you have to always uh, investigate for the tuberculosis by investigating sputum for AFP. <laughs> Effective chemotherapy, health education, chemo prophylaxis, these are all strategies for TB control and prevention. In order to reverse the increasing trend of the tuberculosis, effective prevention and control measures are required in all countries. So up to now, uh, we have discussed about uh, uh, tuberculosis incidence and uh, data related to that as well as uh, what are the positive factors. Uh, prevention, control and other things. We are still having many other things to discuss about tuberculosis that we will, I think, uh, discuss in next class. Write down your roll number in chat box before leaving this broadcast. Write down your roll number in chat box. We will be discussing about tuberculosis further, about prevention control strategy, about some epidemiology, uh, agent host environment epidemiology, still it is uh, there to be discussed. We will discuss in next class. And write down your roll number in chat box before leaving your this broadcast. <coughs> Okay, I think I have received roll number of all the students. Okay, thank you very much. We will meet next time at our scheduled time. Thank you.